Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, and today we are going to be unboxing my October 2020 Halloween mystery box from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So if you want to see what I got in the base box of the $25 Jeffree Star Cosmetics mystery box for Halloween this year, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, please consider clicking the subscribe button. It would help me out so much. Okay, so you may have seen that I picked up a pink box here. That's because I did order a few additional items other than the mystery box, but the mystery box itself is orange, at least for the base box. That's the one I got. So here is the mystery box. It has the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo on it, and they are little cobwebs that are kind of like falling off of the stars, so that's kind of cool. Um, I did most of my makeup already. I did not do my lips intentionally. I know they probably look a little ghoulish or bare right now, but I'm anticipating since this is the base box that was $25 that we're probably going to be getting lip products. I also didn't do my highlighter just in case, but I've actually never gotten a highlighter in a mystery box before. When I've gotten the bigger boxes I've gotten some different like swag apparel type things I've gotten palettes before I don't think we'll see that in this smaller box this time around um, but I do think since Jeffree Star did just update their lip liner formula that there could be maybe some lip liners in here I've never tried one of their lip liners and I definitely expect there to be both liquid lipsticks and probably bullet lipsticks because they also just did away with their old version of their bullet lipstick, so I bet we'll see some of their leftover inventory in this box. So I considered getting the middle box, you guys, I really did, but there were just some other things I purchased recently and financially I needed to go with the 25 box, you know what I mean? But I did get a couple of the new, um, the new lipstick formula, the, I think they're called Thirst Trap. I'll show you when I'm done with the box if you're interested in those. I did pick up, up a couple shades. They're $18 each, yikes, which is why I usually like these mystery boxes because I do like Jeffree Star Cosmetic lip products, but I don't like paying $18 a piece for them. So by getting this, even if it ends up being three lip products for $25, that's a huge savings. But they do have Afterpay on their site, and there's a couple shades that just I really needed. Um, I say needed, but, you know, wanted really badly. Um, so I'll show you those when I am done with the mystery box. Now that I'm done fighting with the tape here, let's open it up and see what we've got. I'm going to kind of reach in, try to surprise myself a little bit here. Lots of tissue paper. Now, there's not supposed to be any uh, special edition things, I don't think, in here either. So I feel a box. And what do we have? Ah, I think this is a lip liner, you guys. This is in the shade Unicorn Blood. Like I said, I have never tried one of Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip liners. This is their lip this is their Velour Lip Liner Formula. Now I'm assuming this is the old formula. Like I said, they just recently re-released a new formula. So this is probably the old formula. I don't know that the packaging changed any. I really do like their packaging here with these little pieces, these little crown shaped, I don't know what you call them, they have at the top. So we'll test that out depending on eh, what other lip products we get. Obviously I want something that's gonna look like it matches, um, but that is in a very red color here. Like I said, it is in unicorn blood, which swatch, swatch really creamy. There it is right there. It's kind of like a deeper red. It's not like a true fire engine red, which I'm glad about. I like more if I'm gonna do red, more of a deeper red like that. So that is our first of three items there. And I think those are normally like somewhere close to $18 too. I could be wrong on those lip liners as well. So again, you're really getting your values worth for $25. Okay, item number two. Oh, a gloss. I totally forgot that he even made glosses. I forgot that that was an option, you guys. So I have gotten one gloss one other time. I think in my Valentine's box, um, I've been doing these unboxings of Jeffree Star's mystery boxes for a while now. I've got kind of like a playlist going, so if you're interested in seeing any of the others, I will leave um, the playlist link in the description of this video. So let's see, this one's called Crystal Climax. It almost looks, I don't know, kind of like goldy, pinky. Sometimes the color on here is what it is on the inside, so we'll see. 
but I don't think these are super opaque. So even if it's kind of like a funky color, I think they're somewhat translucent, so I can probably layer or layer it over a lot of stuff. But I'm excited about this. Like I said, I've only had one gloss before. Ooh, that's very pretty. It almost looks like borderline an orange base in there with some gold reflect. Again, this is in shade Crystal Climax. Same sort of topper on there. I really like the packaging. And let's watch this on the hand. Oh wow, that's pretty gorgeous, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's very glittery. So there is the shade right there on my hand. It's pretty opaque, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I think a lipstick would still show through it, but it's got some nice, looks like pink and orange and maybe gold reflect in the uh, base shade there is more of like an orange color. So I like that. I think it'd probably be really wearable still. Not with that lip liner, so I don't know if we're gonna test all of those in that video today, but stay tuned, we've got one more item. All right, our last item, see if we can find it tucked away. Our last item is a liquid lipstick. Okay, so I didn't get any of the bullets. This is also in Unicorn Blood, so it's the same shade as the lip liner, so I'm not gonna swatch it. I'll take it out of the box and show you guys. I don't have any of these shades yet. That's always one of my concerns is will I get a double, but they have so many shades I have yet to have repeats. So here is Unicorn Blood. It is so nice. Um, uh, I don't know, should I try those? I wish I could pull you guys live, because I also have the shade Dominatrix that I ordered that's kind of like a deep brown that I feel like would look good. I tried to do more of like a neutral eye look. This, by the way, I did this eye look using the uh, Blood Sugar Palette just kind of as an ode to Jeffree Star. I have one highlighter by Jeffree Star that I bought, one of the Supreme Frost, and I cannot for the life of me find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little uh, other highlighter real quick and then I'll decide on a lip. I kind of would like to try one of uh, Jeffree's regular highlighters sometimes. Like I said, the one I have is the, I think it's called the Supreme Frost. It's whatever. They have like the regular one. I think it's Supreme and then the Extreme Frost. I have the middle one, whatever that one is. The middle cost one it was on sale and I got it. And I don't know, it was okay. It wasn't like, eh. It was really glittery to me, which is not my favorite. So I'd like to try the regular formula sometime. I don't know what my hair is like trying to do in this video, you guys. I'm about to give up and just put it up here. You know what? I'm gonna try the unicorn stuff because the unicorn blood because I really do want to try this liner and give you guys kind of my first impressions. If this is the old formula, which I'm sure it is, it's probably why they're unloading it in a mystery box. I think a lot of people complain that it was like kind of skippy, dry, whatever. I don't know. Um, so we'll see if we agree with them. I don't know. I mean, I just did a little bit there, but it, it feels extremely creamy and pigmented, so I don't know what they're talking about if this is the formula that people say that about. And if that wasn't true, I don't know. I mean, there's obviously some reason they changed the entire formula for all of the lip liners. All right, hopefully that's enough lip lining here. That's amazing. Don't know what people's issues are with that. Super happy to have it. I don't think I'm gonna pair the gloss over this particular color today, but I will try it maybe in a future video if you guys are interested in that. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the same shade Unicorn Blood of the liquid lipstick. Normally, I think his lip li liquid lipsticks with the shape of this uh, doe foot applicator I'll show you, just the way it's pointed there, I find that these are very easy to line your lips without a lip liner, but I am happy to have a lip liner for the red specifically because you do have to be very, very careful if you want very clean red lines. That's just gorgeous, you guys. It's almost more of like a, I don't know, brown-based red, darker, deeper red. I really like it, especially with this kind of gold brown eye look I have going does kind of accentuate how pale I am right now, but you know, I'm in the U.S. in Ohio, if you're not aware, and uh, it's getting to be close to winter time for us, so the, what little tan that maybe I did have in the summer, I didn't go out much this summer, is gone. Maybe time to bring out the self-tanner soon. Could also just be the uh, lighting I'm using washing me out a bit, to be honest. I know this is not the gloss that I got in this video. Um, I got the Crystal Climax, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the one I got in my Valentine's mystery box, which is Succulent. And I'm gonna put that a little bit in the center just to give us a little gloss moment. I'm not gonna do too much, but I just really think this looks cool because it has a blue reflect in it. And I do look, I do really love the look of a uh, blue reflect over a deep red lipstick. It looks so cool. I'm, I'm sure the camera's not doing it justice. 
So yeah, let me show you the other two lipsticks I got. These are not part of the mystery box. These are just ones I ordered. These are from the new Velvet Trap. That's what it's called, Velvet Trap. I got So Jaded in Dominatrix. I know Dominatrix comes in the liquid lip formula, but for the life of me, they're always sold out when I try to buy one. So I just went ahead and bought it in this new formula. Um, and then the other one is So Jaded. I'm not sure if that's in a liquid lip or not. It wasn't one that I remember seeing. So it comes in these little unicartons, has the little bear trap there. Um, very interesting packaging. Never seen anything like this where you slide off the top. Weird, but I guess innovative, whatever. Um, I will say I hate this packaging. I think it's hideous. Um, it looks a little uh, inappropriate, but knowing Jeffree Star, that's probably intentional. I much prefer the old lipstick bullet. Let me show you one of those. So the colors often vary depending on the uh, collection it was from, but here's the old bullet. Um, now Jeffrey did say, and he's right, this definitely feels a lot heavier, a lot more expensive. This is more like cheapy plastic. Um, and I think the cost still stayed the same, which is awesome, but I just don't like the shade of this and I don't like that it's all like one color the whole thing. So that's just me personally. Um, but this is the shade Dominatrix. What I do love is the embossing on these. Okay, I'll try to show you on the actual lipstick itself. There are the little Jeffree Star logos all over it. And I think that's really cool. So I'll give you a quick little swatch on my hand here of Dominatrix. It feels so smooth. It feels almost like the heat on my hand is warming it up and melting it. Oh, I forgot about that from his video too. So this is a magnet. I don't know if you can see on the outside here where my nail is, there's a little gray section there. And then on here, gray, it's a magnet. So it just clicks. That's kind of cool. The old ones didn't have that. So right here is Dominatrix, that brown color. I'm really into browns, guys. I don't know why. I just am. So that is the one shade that I picked up. And again, these are $18 each. This is not any sort of limited collection. It is just a new formula he came out with. And the other one, same packaging, is in So Jaded. This one just looked so cool to me. So it's almost like a an olivey green. It's like it, you can kind of see when I turn my hand, it almost looks like it has a little bit of a brown base maybe, or it looks kind of like borderline gray, but it's a deep, deep jade slash, I think olive green there. And they're definitely more grungy tones, but I didn't have anything like either of these in my collection and they just called out to me. So thank heavens for Afterpay. That is something Jeffrey uh, and many websites have where you can sign up to pay in installments help you get things that might be sold out later that you want now. So I did end up picking those up. By the way, I let those sit in my hand for a minute and they do not dry down completely matte. They are more of like a movable, wearable, like maybe satin finish in case you're wondering. They're not gonna be like those dry, crusty mattes that dry down. But that also means they are going to transfer. They are not transfer proof. They probably won't last for long, long, long periods of time, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, everyone, that was my mystery box unboxing from Jeffree Star's Halloween version of his uh, mystery boxes. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked up a mystery box or if you enjoy his mystery boxes. Um, if so, I believe he said he's going to do Christmas mystery boxes next, so I will probably be picking one of those up because I really just think it's a value if you look at the fact that you know, all of those items each were $18-ish each times three items. Um, and then to get them for 25, you know, and I, I picked up the other lipsticks just because I thought if I'm going to play it, if I'm going to pay the $10 shipping anyway, I'm just going to throw in some things, you know, that look good to me. Thank you so much if you've made it to this point in the video. Again, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me with getting YouTube to uh, show my video in the algorithm. And please subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'd love to hear your comments down below. And I always respond. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next new video next week. Bye!